Hey, how is everyone doing today? So in today's video, as you can see, I'm going to be talking about the Super Game Boy. And in one of my prior videos when I talked about Spiritualized 1997's a massive core drop, this one was a quick little snippet of it. So now I want to get into a little bit more detail, try out some more games on it, test out the settings, do all that great stuff, and let you know how I feel about it. And so far, I've been loving it. It's cool, just cool little novelty just to play around with it, see... Obviously, this will probably look better on with the dock. I personally don't have the dock yet, so I've just been testing it out currently on the pocket itself. But before I move on, please leave a like, subscribe, do all that great YouTube stuff, hit that little bell. I hope I earned it, and uh, let's get into the rest of the video now. All right, so here we are on the computer. So if you've already installed this using uh, Pocket Updater, this is just a quick look at what it actually says here on uh, Spiritualized 1997's GitHub. So that is the best way I recommend installing it. If not, if you want to do it manually, it's not too difficult, but you're going to have to find these BIOS separately. Pocket Updater finds the BIOS for you. So these are, these are, these are what you're going to need. You're going to need SGB underscore boot bin and SGB underscore SNES decimal SMC. So you're going to need this items and you're going to need to put it in the asset SGB spiritualized super Game Boy folder. That's where it's going to have to go. Okay. So it's pretty cool. As you can tell, you can run real cartridges. Uh, you can use up to four players are supported using the dock. Can't test that one for you, but I will test everything I can on the pocket itself shortly after I finish here. So here you can go to releases. 1.03 this is where you can get the zip file you need to do and it's pretty straightforward you just download drag and drop you need to find the bios on your own and the games you'll also need to find on your own as well so but for that let's give a little bit of a synopsis we'll go to trusted wikipedia um and this is pretty much how it looks and I'll, I'll show you the one that i have i have the uh regular you know north american version i do not have the pal version or super game boy 2 even though this is strictly talking about Super Game Boy. So let's see, it was released in June uh, 1994, retailed for $60. Ironically, that price has remained the same. Uh, it's $60 right now on Amazon. Granted, uh, due to inflation, this probably would be a lot more back in 94. Let's see, uh, South Korea was called uh, Super Mini Comboy, interesting. And it was distributed by Honda. That's funny. That is actually, <laughs> that's, oh, okay, electronics. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Um, all right, so obviously this can go on to the Super NES, which is, you know, Super Nintendo. Okay, and there's a list of games that it could play. Now, let's check this out and see what else, anything pertinent information you might really wanna know. But, uh, you know, this is Googleable, and this, this one here I will actually link in the description below. So here you'll see, this is a good guide for the list of games that you'll be looking at. So let's just check it out. Here are all the games. It'll tell you if it's a Game Boy Color game. It'll tell you if it's multiple borders, which is pretty good to check out yourself. Uh, different palettes. This is all cool stuff just to look at. And I've picked a handful of games, just about six games I'm gonna try. And then I'm gonna go with uh, another couple of games that I'm going to run off the cartridge itself, which is pretty cool. So keep that in mind, this is all awesome. I'm very happy with this. So with that, without that being further, uh, I'm just going to continue on to the pocket itself. So uh, let's just see you there now. All right, so we're back. So what we're going to do now is, as you can tell, this is the original Super Game Boy. This is the one that works with the Super Nintendo. Uh, so this is pretty cool if you ever played it. I personally like it. It's an awesome way of putting this on the TV as it was originally intended to look like. Now, this is how it would look with the game inside of it. It's fairly simple. It's just a Game Boy. You just pop it in. That's it. And then you put this part into the Super Nintendo. Now, this one specifically is the one for the US version of Super Nintendo. This is not the Famicom one, the Super Famicom. So there is a different one for that. That being said, if you have that one, you might want to get the one for the Famicom. Now, the, the Super Game Boy that's in here is going to be the Super Game Boy, the original. It's not going to be the Super Game Boy 2. But it's still cool to be able to test this out. So let's bring the pocket a little closer. So what I want to do is 
let's just try out putting in a cartridge itself. Now, we're gonna find out now if some of these cartridges are clean or not. So that's gonna be the fun part. So good thing is here, you do this first. Error, okay, this one is not clean. Amazing. Might have to get a Q-tip. That way I'm not doing this forever. Okay, it's fairly simple as you can tell, there it is. So, let's just show you, play here real fast. Starts up right away, no problem. Cool. Now let's go to Open FPGA Home Console Super Game Boy, and let's go to Run Cartridge. This is how you're gonna get it to work on the Super Game Boy. So let's do it. And there you go. And it's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. You can see the palettes in the back. Sorry, the borders. Sorry, and it's in color. So this is how it would have looked on the TV at the time. Now, if you press L and R, you bring up the menu. Here's where you can change the borders, you can change some of the pictures, see how all uh, the palettes, I'm sorry. See? Cool, you can change all the palettes. Uh, okay. How do I change it back? That is going to be a great question. Okay. Now here you can change the border. This is, I guess, the default. There you go. This is the Super Game Boy one. But let's go to their custom one. Okay. L and R to close it again. There we go. <laughs> and it will work just like as if you're playing it on the analog itself. Oh, and there we go. So it's pretty cool. So that one runs right off of the cartridge itself. And as you saw, it had to save data already from the cartridge. So it's running as if it was on a actual you know, Super Game Boy. So now I have no game in. I have some games here to try out. Let's try out Battle Arena. It only takes like a second longer because it's actually loading the game now. So I love how it starts up as if it's a Super Game Boy. That's amazing. Ah, look at that. There's the, uh, his own custom border right there. I used to play this game on the PlayStation. Now let's check out if they have any different borders. Well, let's stick to this one. Uh, what is this? Okay. Password. Huh. Cool. Ah. Oh. That's awesome. You can mess around with this right here. Mess is around with the colors. That is so cool. No. Um, Obviously, I messed around with it to the point where it's not playable. But let's just do this. There we go. Now it's back. Let's close it. <laughs> PlayStation 1 didn't look like this. And this is the one that you should be able to play with multiple people uh, connected. So that's pretty cool. If you have the dock, you should be able to play. It says up to four. Obviously, this one's going to be a two-person. But that is pretty cool. <laughs> oh, I remember this. This guy used to always laugh at you when he, when he, when he killed you.
<laughs> All right, that's pretty cool. So let's go here. Let's try another one. Bomberman. Starts up all the same. I tried, I tried to pick ones that had custom backgrounds. I also have some physical cards that I want to try out too. So let me grab those and get those ready too. There's a few other ones. Some Japanese ones just to see how they look. Okay. Bomberman has, has his own as well. That's so cool. Bomberman Theater up there, as it says. Ah, I should have just done battle. Mostly because I don't understand Japanese. Look at that, it changes. That's so cool. It changes as you go along. It's definitely a great alternative for people who don't have like the Super NT and they want to have a better version of playing the Super Game Boy on the TV. Because I'm sure I have it connected to my TV via HDMI, but it's probably not as great as playing it on a Super NT itself. So this definitely gives a great option to people. So let's see what else we got. Dragon Ball Z. Just want to test this one out. And then I'm going to move over to the cartridge. Just to have fun with that. Because that's going to be fun too. I have, cartridge wise, I have the original Bomberman GB. I got Pokemon Silver, I want to see how that works out. I got Pokemon Trading Card Games, Pokemon Red Japanese, Donkey Kong Lang, I heard that's a good one to test. Pokemon Yellow, and that's it. So let's see, this one's pretty cool. I like how it has the backgrounds. This definitely gives me old Super, Super Nintendo Game Boy, hey, I'm sorry, Super Nintendo Dragon Ball Z game vibes. Uh, one player tournament. I don't know what it's saying. I recognize that music. There is the announcer. Okay, I just want to see what the battle looks like. It looks like I'm supposed to be Krillin, maybe? Who is there? Let's see. It's gonna be Krillin versus Gohan. All right. <laughs> so cool. I had a I had a game I used to play like this when I was a kid. All right. Let's do. Um, Dragon Quest. It's another one that has its own backgrounds too. There we go. Can't wait to get into the physical ones, even though I'm probably gonna have to clean those real quick before I even try it. Okay, let's see. This one does not have its own custom background. Let's see. Now it's pretty limited. Nope. But you can change it to something else if you want to. That's pretty cool. Look, what else? What else can we change it to? Let's see. Change it to whatever the cat is. Ah, it's just cats. Cat. There's one you can just draw on, which is pretty cool. Uh, that one is pencils. The polygon stuff. Nice little scenery. This one actually looks the best for Dragon Quest. Crazy how old some of these games are, and they're still running today. It's amazing. All right, let's do Game & Watch. This seems to be another one that was pretty custom. Okay, let's see this one. Let's see what happens. There we go. And it does. A little beach. You later pause the switch power off. You gallery, okay. Okay. 
Okay. And changes, there you go. Cool. Because the whole point of this game is just to catch them as you can. <laughs> cool. I do like how it does change. Okay, I wonder if it changes, if it would change with a different one. Uh, let's try. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to try this one again. I do like how it always changes. Helmets. See if it changes for that. Oh, it does. Cool. Okay, let's try another version of this. Sous chef. Let's see how this one looks. Cool. This is pretty cool. Okay. Let's try a different one. Uh, Super Mario Land 2. Okay, this one doesn't, let's see. Just has a regular default Super Game Boy. Nothing crazy about it. Works just like the game. It's like any other Game Boy game probably would. So cool. Okay. So I believe that was the last one. So what I want to do now is let me clean my carts real quick and then I will test it out. All right, here we are. So the first one I want to test out, let's test out the Pokemon Yellow. This one's in a bronze, brass boxy pixel case. So sometimes it works, sometimes it gives me problems, but man, that is heavy and goddamn. All right, so let's just, there you go. That's a good way to check out, see if it works. So let's run it there real quick. One thing I did want to test out real fast was the save. So I saw it worked before, but you know, let's try it again. It doesn't hurt to try it one more time. So let's just do a new game and then we will save. Okay. Let's just get past this typical beginning stuff. Okay. Yep. Yep. Used for fighting. Yes, we know this already. Okay. His name will be sure. Let's do Ash. This is following that story. His name could be Gary. Why not? It's going. It's going. There you go. Okay, so now I can save. Let's save it. Hopefully the battery's not dried up. I don't think I've replaced this battery yet. Let's see. Cause that will kind of suck. I replaced my Pokemon Silver battery. I don't know if I replaced this one. Let's see. Okay, no, it's still there. Cool. So now what we're gonna do is let's go to Open FPGA, Home Console, Super Game Boy Run, and let's go to Run Cartridge. There we go. Now, obviously, it's not going to be full screen. And I know people wanted me to test out. Let's see if I can change some of these aspect ratios. No, it does not look like I can change it. So everybody keep that in mind. I don't see a way to change the screen. Nope, this is how it is. It's so cool. As you can tell, here's a Pikachu background. And it just stays like that. I feel like the color is a little bit different. That's probably how it would look if I just had the original. But as you can tell, the save state worked just fine. 
is loading straight from the cartridge itself. That's pretty cool. It's amazing how they were able to do that. Like it's literally just like the Super Game Boy, like as if I was playing the original one. That is so cool. All right, let's go run another one. Let's do, oh, man, I have a bunch of Pokemon games. Let's do Pokemon trading card game. I believe that one has a different one too. Let's just double check, okay. This one needs to be cleaned a little bit. Let's try it again. Okay, there it is. This is how it would look if it was playing regularly. Quit. And let's do open F. There it is. Let's run it from here. It's so cool, the background. Mark. Okay, so they made my name Mark. I like it changes too as you go along. Oh, that's pretty cool. That probably means that for each badge you get, it will take it there too. That is actually pretty cool. I wonder if I can... See, it's one of the things I wonder. Let's see. Uh, Game Boy Color, Pokemon. Let's see if Pokemon Trading Card Game is here. That's Rebalance. Uh, I don't know if I did that one. Here it is. Let's try it again. This one has my save states, but it might not be pointed in the right direction. So let's see. Oh, it does. Okay. So let's see. Continue from diary. This one I beat. Ah, look, that's so cool. That means I finished it already. Cause I did finish this one. That is so cool. I wonder if it does anything differently if I, let's see. Okay, so it just changes for that. That is awesome. That is very cool. Okay, let's try a Japanese game. Let's try Pokemon Red. Or I guess Pocket Monster Red. Okay, of course. Man, he's, I tell you, this thing is very sensitive when it comes to the carts. A little bit of dust. Yep, there you go. And you are, you know, S O A. Okay. You have to go back to the Super Game Boy because you got to run it from the cart itself. There you go. Run cartridge. Here we go. All right, let's see what happens. There you go, Pokemon. I wonder if this changes, let's see. It says red pocket monster, cool. Okay, this one I have a safe, safe state already. Didn't change much. Let's see, uh, you can change the palettes here. Cool. Oh, inversed. Let's do this one. Okay, cool. It's very cool that you can just change these palettes on their own. Here we go, and we're being led away. I have played this game so many times, I already know what they're saying. I pick one, a three, get on the journey. Gary, or whoever my rival is, is gonna be no. Why do I, when, when do I get to pick? Be patient. <laughs> okay, let's just stay for now on. Man, I really know exactly where it is. I remember when I was younger, I played Emerald completely in Japanese. Cause I really wanted it and I got it from Japan and that was difficult to say the least. Hey, I did it. Now this is how it looks if you just played it on the pocket itself. 
granted you can change this to color if you wanted uh, let's see tools settings pocket system game boy here's where you change the color palettes mint blue green blue it's pretty cool though color palettes grayscale so if you really wanted to make it color i think you would just have to quit go to settings pocket uh systems this one here hardware force gbc mode i think would do it let's go let's see if that changes it a little bit no it didn't change this one no, this one was pretty i think it just came boy okay so let's go on to the next one so that that, that being said uh let's try chris uh Silver. So silver could be played both on the Game Boy Pocket and on the Game Boy Color. So interested to see how it works. Ah, oh, come on. I really have to really get into this one. <sighs> okay, there we go. Oh wait, no, I wouldn't do that actually. Yeah, you know, let me a sec. Let me actually clean it. Okay, here it is. Good old silver. I'm very interested to see how it'll work. Let's see if it'll work. Ah, uh -huh. oh, it does work. Identifies it right there. Silver version. Cool. Awesome. So that works just fine. Who do I have it right here? Is that a quill? Cool. <laughs> All right, let's go on to the next one. All right, so the next one's gonna be Bomberman. This is Bomberman GB. So let's just see. Okay, there it is, Bomberman GB. This is how it would look there. Okay. So this would have originally played in black and white, but with the Super Game Boy, let's see how it looks, how it would look. Yeah, the Bomberman Theater up there. Look at it, it's already in color, it's pretty cool. Looks really good. It's crazy how they were able to get all this on, all this there. Looks really good the way they did it. There you go, the whole border changes for this one too. So not, so not the whole game changes, just the, uh, the intro. Looks like it has some changes to it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's put it right there. Oh, I died. You killed me. <laughs> All right, let's try one last one, which I think I already showed. We'll do Donkey Kong real fast. And then that'll be the end of the video. I think I showed a good amount of games. What is this, like 12 games I think I showed? So I think we should be good now. I remember I cannot change. I don't think I can change the display mode. Or resize this at the moment. You can mess with some other stuff though, but not that. Yeah. Ah, well, I already used it. <laughs> well, all right, everyone. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope I'll see you on the next one. Everybody have a good one.